How do you turn your slushy spirits into sunshine and smiles this winter? How about following Rhea and me for an exciting weekend of riding and camping in Mesquite with Brett and Dory Paris from Paris RV. Then we head back to the snowy adventures for a fun-filled family weekend at the 34th Annual Winter Festival in Bryce Canyon. Finally, we're headed up to Park City to check out a free world-class ski and snowboard competition that is sure to be heart-pumping excitement that you won't want to miss. At Your Leisure is shredding your way next. Hello. Hey, we're on TV, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the sunbathing. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, though. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we've got the Parises with us, Brett and Dory from Paris RV. And they keep saying, you know, we know Mesquite really well. And in the wintertime, when it's really bleak and you're cabin fevered in in Salt Lake, you can come down here and enjoy a bit of summer. And you know what? I'm just wearing a light flannel shirt. And I got to be honest with you, I'm overheating right now. You guys are dressed right. Absolutely beautiful. I could be wearing shorts, but you know, you take off on these back roads and you can get into the Red Rocks. Uh, you can ride over to Lake Mead. You can head over to that uh, new uh, National Monument, uh, Gold Butte. That's only a couple of years old. Great area out there. Lots of things to see and do. But what a great opportunity to come out on the desert with your family and camp and ride. I know. Look, this is just ideal. So a lot of people think that, you know, they, they come down the gorge, they think that's pretty, and then you get this wide deserty thing and they think there's nothing to Las Vegas. How much camping adventure is there out in the desert? You know, it is unlimited camping out here. I mean, you can go anywhere. You can ride your uh, UTVs or ATVs or take your toys anywhere. Yep. It's just really, really nice RV parks, full hookups, uh, real deluxe, and you can stay there year round. Wow. Excellent. And then do you have to have a street legal to get out of town? You know, I'm not an expert on the Nevada laws, but the way I understand it is as long as you've got a street legal uh, vehicle, you know, you can ride uh, from your destination straight out of town. Now, if somebody actually wants to go the chicken route and, and drive down and not be out in the desert like we did, we stopped and rented our machine from, uh, from the Polaris World there. Yeah, it's back there. Adventure time. Yeah, I want to make sure that it, <laughs> we hadn't lost the darn thing yet. <laughs> Uh, I haven't left yet. So what, are, what kind of things are we going to see out here when we ride today? So that's the beautiful thing is you'll see something around every corner. So um, there's Devil's Throat that's right down the road from here. It's a huge hole in the ground and it goes forever. Who knows where the bottom is? Yeah. Um, so that's really a neat sight to see. Um, Damn. Yeah. If you're sick of the sand in the desert, you can go up a little higher elevation right on this trail that we're on and you'll see some snow. The terrain changes, it looks like northern Utah. <laughs> okay, our cameraman almost went over those steps that we just climbed up. Don't scare me like that ever again. I know, seriously. So, Dory, tell me about the sleeping arrangements here. This cave was it's like a seven-man cave. Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know how many actually slept here, but um, they used to start their fire in this little cave on the bottom, mm -hmm. and it would heat up the whole mountain almost. Um, and so it kind of gave them a little bit of a heated bed. It's like wow. an electric so blanket, yeah, non-electric electric, electric heated blanket. Heated seats. 100 years ago, or not quite, 90 yeah, years ago. 90 years yeah. ago. Yeah. I would have so never thought. That's very clever yeah. that they came up with that. So, so right. you come all the way out here in the wilderness thinking that you're just away from man, and you find that history is already here. This whole area was developed during the Depression by the CCC, the Civil... Conservation, Conservation, Conservation Corps. Corps. Yeah. And so they'd send these guys out here to pay them money, and rather than just give them money, they'd say, well, go build a dam up there. So there's a little dam in that little runoff area, and then they've got this cabin here, and so they just built stuff out in the middle of nowhere. That's before anybody kicked you off the land, because you could just hang out here. Yeah, well, that's you right. you were working it. And they were improving it. They were improving it, right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, we have an improvement for our show right now. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're off to our Where To Adventure.
We are in at Ruby's, just outside of Bryce Canyon, for the Winter Festival. Uh, this is the 34th year of the Winter Festival. I've been involved for the last seven years, but I've known the people that started it for at least 40 years. It's a Winter Festival, so we can do about everything you'd expect. Uh, we have cross-country skiing, which is a lot of fun, uh, snowshoeing, we have snowshoe hikes, uh, our ice rink has been a lot of fun, uh, you know, ice skating. We also uh, do a lot of things you wouldn't think about, like kayaking in our pool. It's nice to be able to get in a boat in the middle of winter and uh, kind of get reaccustomed to, um, you know, doing the, the paddle strokes and the Eskimo roll and that kind of thing in a nice warm environment to get ready for spring runoff. I try to attend as many as I can. I really enjoy all the activities here. They have some phenomenal things going on. There. I just love coming here. And uh, things like kids crafts, watercolor, um, fat bike demonstrations. I do all the cross country teaching. I used to own the ski area, the cross country ski area in Brighton, the Brighton Touring Center a long time ago. Now that I'm doing it here, I, this is the only time I do it. But uh, so I come down and I teach classic skiing which is traditional diagonal, and skate skiing. My favorite part, uh, we have a pottery demonstration. My kids love to come up and participate in that. You know, the kids get to uh, get messy and they get in there with the clay and they can make little, uh, little things, little pots, you know, and that's a lot of fun. I love talking to people about nature and helping people connect with the outdoors and, you know, why places like this are so valuable, you know, these days with, you know, so many people in urban areas that don't get to get out and, breathe fresh air and enjoy, you know, natural environments. And we are expecting a storm anytime. So instead of putting up our envelopes, we're gonna do what we call a candlestick. Will you explain a little bit about what that means? Okay. That is a candlestick. Usually they'd have um, the balloons, like hot air balloons, kind of tied to it, and they'll just kind of light it up with fire. But because of the weather, they were not able to have the balloon parts. So it's just a bunch of fire, kind of pyro going around. This is the best snow we've had in almost two decades, so it's beautiful. So we've been doing the uh, Bryce Canyon Winter Festival. Uh, this year's our 34th year, and uh, we do it on uh, President's Day weekend, which is right there in the middle of February. And uh, it's a lot of fun for the whole family. We have people that have actually been to all 34 of the winter festivals, so. It's, uh, it's something that people put on their calendars every year. So the best resource for that information is our website, rubysin.com, just R-U-B-Y-S-I-N-N.com. Uh, also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, do the Instagram thing, you know, all the social media, that's where you find out about stuff like this. As I always say about Bryce Canyon, it's kind of like a cake. It's a little better with a little icing on top. So that's, that's what I like about Bryce in the wintertime. And uh, it's affordable. You can come down here for a weekend, uh, you're looking for, a, you know, most of the time rates are less than $100 a night. In addition to uh, the rates being cheap, most of our clinics, most of our workshops here at the Winter Festival are free as well. So you can make a whole weekend, very economical, a lot of fun. People come back every year. For me, it's like coming to Ruby's Inn is like coming home. <laughs> and a good time has been had by all. From the trail to the heart of the backcountry, discover that ski -Doo feeling with the 2019 ski -Doo Trail and Crossover Sleds. Wide open terrain, a full tank of gas, and someone to share it with. Perfect conditions to showcase our first ever Talon 1000R. Standing at nearly 69 inches wide, it's built for speed over rugged terrain. From rock crawl ravines to dry lake beds, dunes, and the miles of trail connecting them all. That's how life is better side by side in the all-new Talon 1000R from Honda.
Kawasaki Mule side by sides are some of the toughest machines around. Work hard or play hard. With the new Mule Pro MX, you don't have to choose. It's about having the right machine to fit the way you live. And it's about strength. The all new Mule Pro MX, the strongest, because I said so. Conquer the summit and catch that Ski Doo feeling with the 2019 Ski Doo Mountain Sleds. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex of South Jordan and West Valley. More than just tune ups, we're off road. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. It's What's New Time, and we are looking today for our review a tab boondock edge by new camp now these are those cute little retro teardrops the boondock package is special though because it's got higher axles it's got a little bit more rugged fenders and because the unit is sits a little higher they've managed to put a step on the side now this is compact camping uh, particularly if you're just getting started in camping they're extremely affordable and they have a lot of features now millennials you're gonna like this he's a little antenna that's a wi-fi booster so that when you go out to camp, uh, you've got, well, you can take your stuff with you. So let's take a look at some of the features. We're gonna start out here by doing outside and inside both. In the back of the boondock edge is the galley. This is the XL model, which means that it's a little extra wide. It's got another six, seven inches of width across the back. You have a sink, it's got water here, you have a nice kitchen light mounted up above, place for your, uh, your spices and things like that. Across the back, you have a two burner stove, propane. You've got a microwave. And then you have, of course, your refrigerator, which simply is a chest type Norcold. And it just pulls out and opens up. You can store dry ice if you're away from electric. You can uh, store enough essentials for a few days. Now let's go to the other end. Uh, this is an area where they've put a little extra storage up here on the boondock model. So it's got a uh, diamond plate storage tub up here. This is for your battery, your propane tank, which uh, sits right up in here. Protects it from rock chips and a little bit of the weather elements. You've also got some areas here to store stuff. And then these heavy duty steps that allow you to get up here and put stuff up on your racks. And so it comes capable with uh, for kayaks and bikes and stuff like that. Comes with a built-in rack, which I might add is adjustable. You can kind of tilt it forward and back. Now let's take a look down here. This is kind of interesting. This is their awning package. And so you can actually have a little awning that you can pull out so that you've got a little bit more shade or protection. So like I say, this is simple camping. There's not a whole lot to talk about, but let's take a look at how they've been pointed the inside. Now, if Rhea and I were just starting camping, I think it's a pretty good, a well-known fact, not a secret anymore, that she's a little bit claustrophobic. The Tab Boondocker is great for that reason because while it's a small space inside, your pillows sit up at the head where you've got the high dome and there's a door on either side. So if the bear's coming in this side, you can scramble out the other side. And if you're real clever, you can shut both doors and you've trapped yourself a bear. Uh, however, he will be a very comfortable bear because this is something most teardrops don't have. If you look right under the TV on the inside of the cabin, you will find an air conditioner. So you can stay cool and comfortable even in the summer. So it's the Boondock Edge. This is the perfect unit for people who are starting their trailer camping adventure. Whether you're a couple, you're just by yourself, you're trying to get out in the woods. High clearance, affordable price. It's from New Camp. You can see it at Paris RV just north of 45th South on State Street in Salt Lake City. That's all we've got for What's New. We'll be back with more at your leisure in just a minute. From the trail to the heart of the backcountry, discover that ski -Doo feeling with the 2019 ski -Doo Trail and Crossover Sleds. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised 
where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Show's over, 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 but deals are still on at both Paris RV locations. Check out these red hot deals. A 2019 Rockwood 1640 LTD, only $8,295 or $99 a month, zero down. Or 2019 Salem 177 FSX BH Bunkhouse, only $14,995 or $165 a month, zero down. Or a 2020 Attitude 19 FB, only $24,995 or $265 a month, zero down. You won't find a selection like this anywhere else, only at Paris RV. Conquer the summit and catch that ski doo feeling with the 2019 Ski Doo Mountain Sleds. Okay, so my theory about this place is that Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra, when they were in Vegas, wanted a place to take girls to get away. Oh, yeah, that's really yeah. going to be so, a real winner yeah. over here. And so that's, what kind of girls? <laughs> I, I don't know, show girls. I don't know. So that's why they built this place out in the middle of nowhere. What's your thought? There may be bodies out here. <laughs> well, we're an hour from Vegas. They got to put them somewhere. I know. The mobsters. Who knows? Mobster. Who knows? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Somebody please help me. Be a little bit more traditional. Sorry, what do you think? I don't know. Maybe it was Kegamus Ranch. Ooh. Oh, yeah. it'd be, no, the house would be bigger. <laughs> Maybe there was a, there's a second story and they took it down. There's, yeah, there you go. Out, my guess <laughs> is this was a cattle ranch and this is where they came out to hang out while they tended to cattle. That's my guess. You know what? You're probably right. Welcome yeah. back to At Your Leisure. <laughs> We are out with Brett and Dory Parrish from Parrish RV, and they are showing us around some of the places in Mesquite. What's your guess about this little ranch or this little house out in the middle of nowhere? The views are spectacular. They really are. I, you know, I keep thinking, man, if there was a well and a septic tank, I could stay out here for a long time. Yeah, right. So what do you think of the underground building? I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's uh, probably for vegetables and things. You know, like, guess, a, like a root cellar like a root or something cellar like that? Or something. Yeah. I think the Joshua trees are I'm... incredible. They're, they're really thick right here, which is neat. Yeah. And then that rock in the distance there, it's like it's a... Very uh, unique. Yeah, it's like not as, not as uh, cool as balanced rock, but it's, but it's still cool. Well, I would definitely want to drop my house right here if I came out here. This absolutely. is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. In, in January and February... Yeah. But I'll bet in July and August you'd rethink it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's when you, you head fan. into the casino where the weather's always nice. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, Brett, you've been there a few times, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so is, is there stuff to do outside if you come camping any time of year here? You know, I, yeah, I mean, just, just camp. You just dry camp out here, ride around on the desert, shoot guns. Lots of Check out scenes. Scene. Yeah, take some mountain bikes out here. Cruise around on mountain bikes. So yeah, it, yeah. Is, Sight -see? is your trailer's got enough AC power in it that it can keep cool on a 110 that, degree that, day? That trailer out there's got uh, that we left over there in the lot's got two airs, solar panel, 150 gallons of water, inverter, generator, everything. Oh, so, you could live out here all summer. Yeah, you, you could thing. be out here for a while for sure. I mean, you know, the, at yeah. some point the 150 gallons of water would go out. You didn't need to be conservative. That's one thing I love about RVers. They learn to be conservative. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't. She's exactly. still learning. I still take the 10 minute shower. Yeah, no, I you don't. Gotta, you gotta teach your kids there to brush your teeth, you know, with <laughs> yeah. the water off. No, absolutely. With the water off when you're showering. That's true. Right? It, it is That's true. That. Well, right now, we're gonna invite you to tell us what you think the story of this ranch is. The most creative one is going to actually win a prize. We've got an at your leisure hat or a shirt or a sweatshirt, something yeah, lying on it. It's, You'll get this it's, hat. It's yours. You go on Facebook and tell us the most interesting story. We'll pick a winner. Right now, though, we're off to our along the way story for this week. We're not skiers. 
us. We're not outdoor or we're not winter sports people, but we really enjoy seeing top-notch athletes. So that is why we're here. It's an international like athletic event, but it's even for the non-athletes. Like it's just yeah. fun in general. We saw people from Sweden, from Norway, Japan. It was, from Japan. It was yeah. amazing. Just that was pretty cool. Not even just the athletes too, just people here watching. Just people. Yeah. Even if you're not a skier, it's an amazing time to come out and see a concert and fireworks and just be outdoors with your family and appreciate this amazing place to be. It's great to have top-notch musical entertainment as well as athletic entertainment here. It's free to bring them out here and get them exposed to uh, the outdoor events and some of the events that are going on that they wouldn't have been able to get exposed to from being from Kansas City. I mean, we hit the slopes yesterday. She was in ski school, so that was pretty cool. It was her first time skiing. Park City does a great job of making oh, yeah. it easy to attend. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, like, where am I going to park? Like, there's free transit. It's really easy. And it's this incredible free event that everyone should be coming to here and, and these amazing athletes flying out of the sky and landing 40 feet away from you and they're the best world athletes doing this. It's such a treat to be near here and it's not even that crowded. I mean certain nights are and then sometimes you show up and it just depends on the time of day or conditions and you can't believe you're with these the best athletes in the world and have incredible access right here. It is so chill. Uh, the vibe is just so easy going. You come, go as you want. I mean, it's free, so that's amazing. To see former Olympians, you don't see Olympians every day, so I like seeing them. Because I've seen them on TV, so. Yeah. Even just like watching the Olympics, uh, Heidi here would, I, she would cry because it was just so emotional. And this has the same kind of feeling as that. Hi, I'm Nolan Stedman. And I'm Bruce Stedman. We have been selling motorcycles like this since 1960. Motorcycle has been part of our family forever. We love riding and enjoying the outdoors, everything that Utah has to offer. Riding motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and now side-by-sides. That's what we do, it's who we are. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. We've been proudly serving Utah's families for over 50 years. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out there, but remember, it's only 30 back. Wide open terrain, a full tank of gas, and someone to share it with. Perfect conditions to showcase our first ever Talon 1000R. Standing at nearly 69 inches wide, it's built for speed over rugged terrain. From rock crawl ravines to dry lake beds, dunes, and the miles of trail connecting them all. That's how life is better side by side. In the all new Talon 1000R. From Honda. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. Deja vu. 
when I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Beaver County, Utah. Make it more than a vacation. Look at that. What, what took you so long? Yeah. You know, not all of us drive 60, 70 miles an hour out of the desert, Chad. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, you guys missed out. <laughs> yeah, well, we did, and we'll find out about it. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are with the Paris family. We are down here in Mesquite. We've been exploring some of the areas out here. Um, how was the day today? It was awesome. We Beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for better. Ranch was awesome. Scenery is incredible. You know, the mountain range out there uh, is just beautiful. All kinds of cool things to see out there today. Plus warm. Don't forget warm. Uh, yeah, no. warm is really, really good in January, I'll February. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Well, we got a lot of business to do. Uh, first off is thanking you guys for taking us out. We've just... It was fabulous. We, you've shared some really good things with us and with the folks at home. Yeah. And uh, I guess we have some prizes to give away. Our contest winner this week was submitted through Facebook and is Leon Hadley from Grantsville and his two youngest grandsons. Congratulations, Leon. Now be sure to call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your $400 gift certificate from RIFAB. RIFAB provides UTV accessories and the best custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit RIFAB.com for more details. Now, it's time to look at next week's show. Next week, we're headed back to the mountains for some more snowy adventures as we try our hand at dog sledding just outside of Park City at the Rancho Luna Lobos Dog Sledding Ranch. Then, we're following the Utah ATV Association out to Rydalch Pass in Tooele Valley as they show us a great riding trail that's always open, rain, sleet, or shine. Finally, we're headed back to Eagle Point Ski Resort to take some behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to make sure the trail is groomed to perfection when visitors arrive each morning ready to ride. Boy, next week's show looks so fun. Well, Can we you. go with you? Oh my gosh, you should. Come with us and the next one and the next one. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys are so much fun to hang out with. We do have a couple of thank yous. We want to thank uh, Adventure Time ATV Rentals in, in uh, Mesquite here. They're the Polaris World people and they provided a great machine. And it was. we want to thank you guys because uh, you really have shown us a great time and I, I just didn't know there was so much adventure out here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. We uh, love getting away, especially in the winter time when it's cold and and dark. And go ride with your family. Go camp. Have an RV. You got a vacation every weekend. But you know, you get out of the uh, out of the inversion. Get out of the cold weather. Come down here. Golf. Do whatever you want to do. You know, it's so true. And I was just telling Chad, you guys really do live your lifestyle. I mean, you live the business. You live the lifestyle. I mean, you're you're in it, and that's why it's so much fun to hang with you. Yeah, we love <laughs> it. It's so We're fun. passionate about you want it. To yeah. <laughs> Me first. <laughs> well, just remember, as we always say, there's adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure.